Hello, I am Annie Frieda, postgraduate teacher from SLB Government High Secondary School, Nagarkoil. In this video, we can see animated explanation for two marks questions from current electricity lesson, plus two physics. Electric current. Electric current could be defined as the rate of flow of charges through a given cross-sectional area. I is equal to dQ by dt. What is 1 ampere? 1 coulomb of charge passing through a perpendicular cross section in 1 second. If dQ is 1 coulomb and dt is 1 second, then I will be equal to 1 ampere. What is drift velocity? The average velocity acquired by the electron inside the conductor when it is subjected to an electric field is drift velocity. What is mobility? Mobility is the magnitude of drift velocity per unit electric field. Mu is equal to magnitude of Vd divided by magnitude of electric field. Its unit is meter square per volt per second. Define Ohm's law. Resistance is the ratio of potential difference across the given conductor to the current passing through the conductor. Temperature coefficient of resistivity alpha. The ratio of increase in resistivity per degree raise in temperature to its resistivity at T0. Alpha is equal to rho t minus rho 0 divided by rho 0 into t minus t0. What is critical temperature? The resistance of certain materials becomes zero below certain temperature. This temperature is called critical temperature. So we know that all materials possess some resistance when current is passing through it. We know that, isn't it? If the temperature of a material is lowered below a certain limit, then the resistance of the material becomes zero and the material becomes superconductor, right? That temperature, when a material becomes superconductor, is called the critical temperature, right? So we can just define that as the resistance of a certain material becomes zero below certain temperature. This temperature is called critical temperature. This critical temperature is also known as transition temperature because the material is transiting to a superconductor. Because the material is transiting to a superconductor. Right. Kitchev's first rule or current rule. The algebraic sum of currents at any junction of a circuit is zero. This is the junction. Current I1, I3, I5 are flowing towards the junction and currents I2, I4 and I6 are moving away from the junction. And so whatever the current flowing towards the junction is considered to be positive and currents flowing away from the junction is considered to be negative. So I1 minus I2 plus I3 minus I4 plus I5 minus I6 is equal to 0. Kitchev's second rule or voltage rule. The algebraic sum of the products of current and resistance of each part of the circuit is equal to the total EM of included in the circuit. 
so for this we have to consider the loops of the circuit let us consider the loop e a c e in this loop the current is flowing in only one direction and so all the part of the circuit is considered to be positive all the part of the all the part of the circuits where the current is flowing is considered to be positive that is i1 r1 plus i2 r2 plus i3 r3 is equal to sin and for the closed loop a b c a here i4 r4 plus i5 r5 but the current flowing the current is flowing from a to c and not from c to a and so this is considered to be the opposite to the current is flowing in the opposite direction to that of i4 and i5 and so it is considered to be i considered to be minus i2 here there is no emf is included in this loop and so applying kitch of second law i4 r4 plus i5 r5 minus i2 r2 is equal to 0 i4 r4 plus i5 r5 minus i2 r2 is equal to 0 for detailed explanation of this kirchhoff's second rule and the first rule watch video on which kirchhoff's rule is explained which i have given in the description box the link for the video i have given the link for the video in the description box below Why do we use nichrome wires in heaters? Nichrome wire is an alloy of nickel and chromium. It has a high specific resistance and can be heated to a very high temperature without oxidation. That is why this this nichrome is being used in electric toaster, electric iron box and so many other electric gadgets. thermoelectric phenomena thermoelectric phenomena thermo means heat energy and heat energy could be converted into electrical energy in this phenomena it is being explained that thermo and heat energy could be converted into electrical energy and vice versa electrically conductive materials exhibit three types of uh, thermoelectric phenomena they are seebeck effect peltier effect thomson effect seebeck effect in a closed circuit consisting of two dissimilar metals when the junctions are maintained at different temperatures an emf or potential difference is developed in the circuit this is metal a and this is metal b this is metal a and this is metal b they are dissimilar metals they form two junctions one of the junction is placed in hot water and another junction is placed in cool water or ice cubes so they are maintained at different temperatures at that time a potential difference is developed in the circuit this is the effect given by seebeck and so it is called as seebeck effect
Peltier effect. This is the this is the reverse of Seebeck effect. When the electric current is passed through a circuit of a thermocouple, heat is evolved at one junction and absorbed at another junction. Consider a couple of wire, copper wire and iron wire. They make two junctions. When current is passed through the couple, one of the junction is cooled and the other junction is heated. When the direction of passage of current is changed, the junction at which the cooling effect happened becomes hotter and the junction at which heat was liberated becomes cooled. became cooled. Peltier effect depends on direction of current. Thomson effect. If two points of a conductor are at different temperatures, the density of electrons at these points will differ and as a result, the potential difference is created between these points. As a result, a potential difference is created between these points. Consider the conductor to be AB. It is heated at the point C. Then we suppose that M and N will be having same temperature, isn't it? When a current is passed through the conductor, the side AC becomes comparatively cooler than that of the side CB for some metals. And these materials are called positive Thomson effect materials. These materials have positive effects, positive Thomson effects. And when this same procedure is maintained for some other materials, the portion AC becomes hotter than that of the portion CB. And the materials which exhibit this type of effect is called negative Thomson effect. Joule's law. Heat developed in an electrical circuit is directly proportional to the square of the current, directly proportional to the resistance of the circuit, and also is directly proportional to the time of flow of current. H is equal to I squared RT. The concepts that we have learned define electric current, define 1 ampere, what is drift velocity, what is mobility, define Ohm's law, what is temperature coefficient of resistance, define critical temperature, Kirchhoff's current and voltage rule, why do we use Nichrom wires in heaters, define Seebeck effect, define Peltier effect, Define Thomson effect, state Joule's law. Thanks for watching. If there is any doubt, ask me in the comment box. I shall explain you. Thank you.